Hi, I'm Greg Corcoran, Manager of Community Relations and Project Outreach. JEA's Water Service Line Verification Project is a multi-phase project that was initiated to comply with the Lead Copper Rules Revisions, also called the LCRR. This regulation was designed by the Environmental Protection Agency to keep you safe from the dangers of drinking water contaminated by lead and copper. One of the requirements is for public water utilities to take inventory of private water service line. That's the pipe that runs from your meter to your home or business to identify if there are any lead lines in use. After completing the initial inventory phase of the project, we are happy to report that we have not found any lead in our main distribution lines located in our service territory. Lead pipes for plumbing were rarely used in Northeast Florida before they were banned by the federal government in 1986. While we don't expect many customers to have lead water service lines, JEA encourages all property owners of homes or businesses built before 1986 to inspect their lines to ensure that they are lead free and report the results back to us. Inspecting your water service lines is easy to do. All you need is a penny, a magnet, a camera, I have your phone here, and a shovel. Here's what you need to do. I'm John Lovering, I'm a JEA water wastewater mechanic, and these are examples of pipes you may see on your home or property. This is your PVC pipe, your poly, you have galvanized, copper, and lead. There are two really easy ways to see if you have lead pipes, with a penny or with a magnet. Let's first test these pipes with a magnet to see if it sticks. You have your PVC, doesn't stick to the PVC. Move to your poly, doesn't stick to that. More poly. We move to your galvanized, the magnet sticks. We move over to copper. The magnet doesn't stick to that either. Then we make it to the lead. The magnet doesn't stick to that. Now let's scrape it with a penny and see what happens. You got your PVC. You scrape it and nothing happens. We move to the poly. We scrape it and nothing happens with that one either. Move on to more poly. You may clean off the dirt, then you'll see the blue pipe underneath it. Move to our galvanized, we scrape it. Nothing happens. Move to our copper, and we scrape it. And you begin to see the copper color underneath. I'll do a move to our lead. And you begin to see the shine of the lead. The next step is to find the connection near your house where water enters your home. Dig down carefully with a small hand shovel so you don't damage anything. In this case, the pipe was easily identifiable as PVC, but we still tested it with the magnet. It didn't stick. We scraped it with the penny too. No shiny silver color, which would show signs of lead. Next, find your water meter. It should be located in a concrete box near the street. Dig carefully so you don't damage the meter, and when you get to the pipe that connects from the street to the meter, test it with your penny and magnet. In this case, the magnet did stick, but that was because of the galvanized fitting. Remember, magnets don't stick to lead or copper, only galvanized material. So again, no lead pipe. We also dug away from the meter box into the yard, following the pipe toward the house, being very careful not to damage the water service pipe about a foot down. And again, after our test with the magnet and penny, no lead was found, just PVC piping, which made our homeowner very happy. Once you've tested your water service line, the next step is to report your findings. You'll want to take a photo of the pipe you just tested to upload to our website. You can easily do this on your phone or laptop by visiting jea.com lcrr and entering your information into our water service line tracking program. If you want to learn more about this project and for a list of frequently asked questions, visit us online.